tonight. A couple hundred people gathered with the goal to keep alive the ideas of the Women's March. Millions turned out across the world last month, the day after President Trump's inauguration. CBS 4's Kerry Codd joins us live from Fort Lauderdale. Kerry. Bay, the founders of the group that met here tonight, it's called South Florida Women Rise Up, told me this was their first meeting and they really didn't know what the turnout would be. They thought maybe 10, 20 women, they weren't sure. But tonight at the Riverside Market in Fort Lauderdale, in this parking lot, about 200 people came out passionate about change. Let's rise up. Ready to go? Shelly Tegelski is one of the founders of South Florida Women Rise Up. She attended the Women's March last month in Washington and decided with some friends that the movement needed to carry on. We said, okay, what do we do now? How do we make sure that we don't leave the energy of the march at the march? And we actually bring it back to our communities. Monday's meeting outside the Riverside Market in Fort Lauderdale was the first step in that journey. Organizers gathered volunteers and had people sign up to support issues backed by the Women's March movement, like LGBT rights, civil rights, reproductive rights, and ending violence. So we wanted to be able to give people a civics education about how the local and state issues actually affect what's happening nationally and kind of bring it back home where we can effectuate change. Attendees came from all over Broward and some said they had never gotten involved politically before until now. I'm unhappy with the way that things are going and decisions that are being made and I just wanted to do my part and not just sit back and complain and just kind of do what I can do. We want the best for all Americans. It was a movement begun in Washington as hundreds of thousands of people descended on the nation's capital the day after President Trump was inaugurated. Tegelski says this isn't a partisan effort, but an effort to fight polarization, apathy, and to give people a voice. We want to be able to basically give them the tools and the information in one consolidated platform to say, oh, you want to do something about it? Here's your opportunity, and here's the, here are the best ways to do it. The group plans to meet the first Monday of the month. They also tell me that if people want to keep tabs on what they're doing, check out their Facebook page and like their page. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight. Thank you, Carrie.